It was nice to end the year. Uh, kind of ended the way it went the whole year, you know. Decent first moto, and then didn't make it 20 feet out of the first uh, out of the gate. So uh, yeah, rough, rough second moto. But uh, yeah, I mean, all in all, we learned a lot this year, and uh, we improved towards the end there, and got some things into into place that I felt needed to be in place. And yeah, I mean, not a lot of positives really. I mean, it's just it's nice for it to be over for us, and uh, we'll move forward and focus on Supercross. Uh, it sounds like you have a really busy off-season with the Nations and uh, things with the team. Yeah, the Nations and, you know, growing the team from one rider to two rider and I uh, think, uh, yeah, I mean, we've got big plans and, you know, just focus really. I mean, it's honestly since Bud's Creek I haven't really done a whole lot, just been focusing on the race team and uh, taking my time off and uh, I'm ready to get back on the grind and get healthy and, you know, get back into shape. Uh, Salt Lake. It was it was pretty good actually the track the track came around and, and uh, it was it was looking not so good in practice though um, pretty muddy but overall it was an okay day for me it went 12 eight for 10 um, not great starts and not not great speed so um, ended up about where I did the first moto I didn't I just didn't ride that great um, and then uh, second moto was was decent so. Uh, happy to get out of here, and, and um, but I do I really enjoy this whole facility and, and, uh, and coming to Salt Lake. And the track was definitely better, so it looks like we're coming here next year. So looking forward to it. Hey, I don't think you could have gotten a wetter starting spot in the first moto. Could you? No, first moto. I well, I didn't have a great time in practice, and then uh, so my my gate, like where it was, the position was good, but the condition of the gate was horrible. But um, but I still came out halfway decent and um, made the most of it. Any off-season races? Um, yeah, probably. Well, planning on doing the the Monster Cup. Um, planning on doing Bercy and uh, and also Geneva. So um, take probably a couple weeks off, go home, visit the family in Iowa, and then probably get back at it. Uh, it was uh, up and down for sure. Uh, they started out really good first first and second practice. Um, I ended up fourth, qualifying fourth, so I was happy with that. And then uh, first moto, I was running like eighth or something, and then I went down and flew off the track, but uh, got going again, worked myself up to tenth. And then uh, second moto, uh, we had a pretty gnarly start crash, uh, with a few other guys, and uh, it was kind of the same thing there, just try to work myself up and uh, got up to ninth, ninth so. Happy with that, and then uh, also happy uh, to, to be 10th uh, overall for the season. So uh, I'm pumped for that. It was pretty good here in Salt Lake for me. First moto was uh, really good because I got a great start, and uh, the track was difficult, you know, because it pulled the bike down really ruddy. And uh, second moto bit me 10, 15 feet out of the gate. Me, Reed, Norin, a bunch of people came together. I don't even know what happened, but before I knew it, I was on my head and. Uh, not the way you want to start the last moment of the year. Ended up 12. I have no idea what I got overall, but uh, overall, a great season for me. Outdoors didn't start off that awesome, didn't end that awesome, but the middle was uh, great. So had a lot of fun and look forward to next year. Uh, today was, you know, felt like another strong weekend for me. Was happy to end the season on on two, you know, good races and. Really happy with that, that second moto. I thought I had a fifth. You know, I started like second, and you know, those top four are just so fast. I, I didn't really expect to beat them, but I felt like I had a fifth in me and made one big mistake over um, on the back section, let Meddy by, and then I was just all over Drew Wheel the rest of the race. I just never really could make it make it stick. He was riding really good, so. But hey, I'm healthy. I'm, I'm pumped. Now we're going to go racing in the woods again. He uh, heard maybe a chance of you coming back full time next year. I don't know, man. I've played around with the idea of doing like one coast on a on a 250 Supercross because um, I'm still eligible and I still feel like I could I still feel like I could win races. But um, it would have to be a really good, you know, the right deal for me. I I quit, you know, I retired for a reason. Uh, it's when I want to be home with my family, and so we'll see, we'll see. Oh, uh, good, yeah. End of the season here at uh, Utah. And um, yeah, I thought the track was this is my first time here, so I thought it was awesome coming into the facility. It's you know it's a road race circuit, but you know it's really nice. It's the entry, everything's nice. And, you know the pavement uh, pits is cool. So a little different for us motocross guys. So uh, a lot of rain yesterday, so the track was super muddy. Practice 
And to be honest, I never felt real comfortable on the track till Moto2. You know, I didn't race last year and the track was so muddy in practice, I never got really a good flow. Didn't do that many laps because of the mud. And so I never really learned the track good. And even Moto1, I just didn't feel comfortable yet. So, um, you know, I ended up seven. I had two great starts today and um, was able to ride on from there pretty well. First Moto, I lost a couple of spots. I ended up seven. And then second Moto, I got another good start. And then, uh, Ended up fifth in that moto. I think it was, a, it was a really solid moto for me. So I was happy and locked down fourth overall in the championship for the year. So I'm really stoked on that. And to come back after missing, realistically, uh, two, almost two seasons away from racing nationals here. So to step back in, uh, finish fourth. I've, you know, the three championships that I've completed here in the U.S. on a 450 never finished outside a top four, second, two fourth. So uh, happy with that. Yeah, I definitely wanted to keep that streak alive and was able to pull it off. So. Yeah, it's good. Any more progress on next year? Uh, right now, no progress for next year. Um, it just seemed like I needed to knock this out first and focus on finishing this fourth out in the championship. And then uh, right now, take a couple weeks off from riding and then just work on uh, setting some things up for next year. So, you know, it'd be nice to stay with Kawasaki and, uh, you know, things are in place. And just kind of waiting right now. To, obviously, as everyone knows, uh, waiting to see what Kawasaki do. So. Um, yeah, it's all good. I'm, I'm happy uh, to race back here in the, the AMA Nationals this year with Monster Energy Kawasaki. It's been awesome for me. I've got a lot of recognition. I'm happy to be back in front of uh, the fans here. So moving next year, we'll see what happens. Uh, man, uh, the weekend was pretty good. Um, finished off with the podium. Um, honestly, for my first 450 season, it's a lot of good learning. Got a win in. Um, got quite a few podiums. And then, uh, yeah, going here. I'm talking about today in Utah, first moto. I um, actually had a really good start and just got kind of shuffled back on the first turn. I just wasn't aggressive enough. And um, yeah, and then I was just kind of eating roost in fourth there and, and had a tip over too. So that kind of did in that moto, got fourth and in second moto, um, got another good start. Uh, man, and then the only guy I passed was Rocks and, and the front two guys were pinning it. So uh, I was trying to pin it too, but you know, I think uh, Dungeon. And uh, Trey was on a little bit of another level today. Um, practice today was kind of odd, waiting until the very, very last minute to do your fastest lap. Was the track just coming around at that point? Yeah, in the second practice, I mean, it, it was muddy. See, so I was waiting for a clean lap, and uh, that's what I did. And the laps before, I got kind of jacked by, uh, you know, just guys on their cruise laps being in the main line. And, you know, I, I, I get out of the way for guys, but apparently other guys don't get away, get out of the way for other people. So. Uh, I don't know what, what to say about that. It's just everyone has to deal with it. Uh, here in Salt Lake City, just wrapped up the end of the season, and it was a good day. You know, we went 2-2 for uh, second overall. Trey rode a great race, and uh, Kenny, uh, teammate, wrapped up the championship. But uh, so I'm happy for him. Definitely, he he worked hard, and we fought all season long for it. And um, definitely, you know, obviously it's bum. You know, I. Uh, obviously want to win that championship so came up a little bit short but you know life goes on and we'll uh, get ready for next year all the fuel for the fire for 2015 and uh, you know we're healthy and safe and walking away so it was uh, I'm really happy with the performance all year and that I put out and I uh, have nothing to be bummed about just uh, a couple more races could have been gone better but uh, hey it's life and we got to take it as it is and like I said Kenny wrote an awesome season and uh, really cool to see him wrap it up in his rookie year and um, moving forward and get ready for next year. Uh, pretty good. Good, uh, good day in Utah. Obviously, um, I just needed to stay on the bike and uh, had a good first moto, you know, and uh, came together with a lapper pretty good and freaking uh, almost crashed and was a big moment. But uh, came in in third and then uh, second moto. It was, you know, I really just needed to stay on the bike and the track was kind of sketchy and. And about like after halfway, you know, everything just started hurting my neck, and I just got tired. And really good to bring it home, though. And now it's time to celebrate. I'm really happy everything's done, and we did exactly what we had to do. And uh, yeah, now it's some party time and some downtime. Uh, how does this rank compared to your world championships and all the other races that you've won? Everybody always asks how it ranks. It's just it's another big moment. Just like how I had the 250 uh, Supercross title. It's super amazing as a rookie, and we did what we wanted to do and it's you know I, I wouldn't put like one further down than others every time you get a championship it's big 